The question I get a lot from homeowners is how to purchase a new home and access equity from their current home and do so in the most efficient way possible. And it, it is kind of complicated, right? So versus a first time home buyer who really is coming out of a, a rental, has saved up, that's a really pretty simple process. When you, when you add in another property, it creates more variables. And that's not to say it's impossible to navigate. It just takes a little more planning and finding kind of the best path forward for, for yourself and your family. So I'm quickly going to cover four different ways of buying a new home, selling your previous home and, and bridging the gap or um, benefiting from the equity in your, your previous home to purchase the new home. The first option and, and ultimately the, the most simple option is to sell your, your current home and then purchase the new home. If you have a family, it may not be ideal. You may have to move twice potentially, but when you're thinking in terms of efficiency of financing, having cash in hand, going and buy that next home, that can be the best option. Another option that not many people are aware of or think of is using savings on hand. So checking, savings, anything liquid, putting minimum down on the purchase of the new home before selling their previous home. And then once they're in the new home, sell the previous home, a lot of moving parts here, but it, it actually works out pretty well. Take the proceeds from the sale, apply it to the new home, one, have mortgage insurance removed, and two, have the loan recast, which means re-amortize the loan uh, based on the new loan balance uh, and, <clears throat> and bring that monthly payment down to reflect the benefit of the proceeds moving over to the new home. Third option here would be to borrow from say 401k or any, any investment assets. Maybe don't cash them out, but borrow from them purchase this new home, potentially minimum down, and then once the set, your previous home sells, take the proceeds from the sale, pay back any, any loans you've taken from yourself and any proceeds over and above repayment to, to those assets, apply it to the home, have the loan recast, potentially mortgage insurance removed, and when the dust settles, you're in great shape. And then the last option here is if you have a home equity line of credit on your current residence, you can use that for the down payment on the new home. Um, and that would allow you to hang on to that home as a rental property. Or again, once you sell that home, obviously you pay off the HELOC. Anything over and above uh, payoffs could go to the new home or you could, could pocket it and do with it what you'd like. If you'd like to discuss this, please reach out. I'd love to talk through the details and help you map out a path forward.